How to change the color of buttons on the Dawn theme on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can change button colors on the Dawn theme. Because all of us have started using the Dawn theme for our Shopify stores, it has become a bit redundant and a bit too easy to look at. To make sure that your store is very cohesive with your brand identity and your overall marketing and branding strategies, it's important to change the button colors so they match your overall branding. Now to do this, I'm going to show you guys two different methods. Both of them are really simple. The first method is directly from Shopify's own editing or color schemes. And the other method is by editing the code of your Shopify store. Now. Keep in mind that both of these are still very simple and there's no room for error in either of these. Plus, you can always revert back to your original settings if you don't feel comfortable with your new colors. Now, let's get started. The first step to customization of the buttons of your Shopify store lead to the dashboard of Shopify. From here, click on online store on the left. And once you click on online store on the left, click on customize over here. Once you have clicked on customize, you're going to click on the top section where it says home page. In your home page, click on product and then select the default product. This will open up any one of your products. If you don't like the product that you are viewing, you can just click on change and then choose a different product like this one. Now, in this particular product, you guys can see I only have the add to cart button. Now I will add our other button, which is going to be our secondary button of a direct buy. You can choose to add that over here. So we're just going to select that and click on show dynamic checkout button. So now we have two buttons that will be displayed. One is going to be our buy now button and the secondary button is going to be the add to cart button. I will save these changes and let's re-access our Shopify dashboard. So we can actually see our new changes in effect. So you guys can see now we have two distinctive buttons. Now to change the colors of our buttons on our Shopify store, that includes changing the color scheme. We can click on the buy now buttons, but if you click on those buttons, they do not render the color scheme. So to actually change colors of buttons, click on the entire section. The entire section is going to be called your product information section. So click on that. And once you click on that, you will see your color scheme over here. So click on edit over here. Or if you want to build a new color scheme from scratch, you can click on change. But I will just click on edit. Once I click on edit on the left, you will see your solid outline button as well as your solid button label. So for our button label, let's say I choose a violet color like this one. And then for our button background, let's say I want to use a lilac color like this one. And this will change the buy it now button. Now, if you want to change your add to cart button, that is going to be a different story. Now, keep in mind that if you change the outline color, this is going to change the color of your add to cart button. So if I turn that into the lilac color, you will see that now our add to cart button is now in lilac. I think I'm going to go with a purple color like this. And now I can click on save and this looks a bit more cohesive to my overall branding. You can apply this to any section present within your Shopify store. So if you go into your homepage on the top and let's say I have a button over here and I'll just add a simple little section image with text section and you will see the button labels over here are following the same color scheme that I applied on my actual product pages. Now, if you want to customize the add to cart button, so I'll show you guys the button that we are going to be customizing further. Now, if you want to customize your add to cart button and you want this to be a solid button instead, that is going to be done with a little bit of code. We're going to save our changes for now and then click on exit on the top left. Now, once you click on exit on the top left, you're going to scroll and you're going to click on these three dots over here. Once you do that, you're going to click on edit code. And once you click on edit code, what you're going to do is on the left panel, right under the layouts folder, you're going to find a section called theme.liquid. Simply open up theme.liquid. And once you do open up theme.liquid, you're going to copy and paste this particular code. 
Now, keep in mind that this code is really simple and you don't have to worry about anything. Just copy it as it is. Now, in theme.liquid, you're going to scroll down. And once you scroll down in theme.liquid, you will find these final two lines where it says body and forward slash HTML. So from here, you're going to select the line above forward slash body. Once you do that, press on return a couple of times to create some empty space after the last line of the code. Make sure that the body text is still underneath your cursor. Now paste in your new code. Once you paste in your new code, you need to start adding your colors. So how do you do that? Well, you will see these two lines. As you guys can see, I've highlighted these. This is your background color and then your text color. So how can you actually insert these types of color numbers? For that, simply open up Google and search for color picker. Once you search for color picker, Google has a simple color picker and you can choose the colors that you want. So let's say I want this. Let's say I want a add to cart button in a blue and white color scheme. So let's say I want to go for this dull blue and I'm just going to copy the hex code from here, then go back into the code editor, and then I will edit the background color by simply pasting in the new code. Then for the color, which is going to be the text color, I want to use a white color. I will copy this hex code, and then from there, I will just insert it over here. Now, once I've inserted both of these codes or hex codes into the Shopify theme.liquid, make sure to click on save on the top right. Now, once you have saved this, click on preview store on the top right. Now, I will open up a product page and you will see our add to cart button is now a solid button instead of just being an outline button. Plus, it has that blue and white color scheme. Now, for some people, this actually might not end up showing up. If that is your issue, if you did all the steps right and it's still not showing up for you, simply go back into your Shopify dashboard and then click on online store. Once you click on the online store, just click on customize over here. And once you click on customize, open up the products page on Shopify. Now, once you open up your product page, simply click on the buttons on the left template section. Once you click on that, uncheck the dynamic checkout button option. This will remove the buy it now button and this might actually help you in changing the colors. Once your colors go to the new code based colors, you can return on the dynamic checkout button or the instant cart button and your issue will be resolved. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to change your button colors on Shopify. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries about Shopify or any other tool, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.